guys, welcome again to ITS, Information Technology Skills. On this video, we're going to talk about paging in operating system. So, paging pala guys is a type of non-contiguous memory allocation. So, let's start. What is paging? Paging is a memory management scheme where the physical memory is divided into number of equal size block called frames and where the program's logical memory space is divided into blocks of the same size called pages. To better understand that, let's say it was a secondary memory. And we also have the main memory or also called as the physical memory. For some instance, hindi ma-allocate lahat or some part of the process cannot be allocated sa physical memory. Thus, some part of the secondary memory will become as the virtual memory or sometimes called as the logical memory. So, this virtual memory will be divided into equal parts or equal size block. So, let's say meron kang 2KB dun sa una, yung susunod 2KB din hanggang umabot na yan dun sa dulo. So, ibig sabihin, lahat po ng partitions is 2KB. This block is called as pages. Okay? So, yung mga blocks or yung mga partitions dun sa virtual memory or dun sa logical memory is called as pages. For example, meron tayong process X na merong size na 6KB. If you're going to observe, 3 pages ang i-occupy niya. Yung first page na meron size na 2KB, the second page na meron din size na 2KB, and the third page na meron size na 3KB. Total of 6KB for the process X. Kung yung logical memory is divided into equal parts, yung physical memory will also be divided into equal parts. This part or partition is called as frames. So, kung yung pages, ang size niya is 2KB, yung frames, ang size din po dapat niya is 2KB hanggang sa dulo. Let's say, these part are occupied kay physical memory. So, for example, si process X will be transferred kay physical memory. The first page will be, let's say, placed there. And the second page will be placed here. And the third page may be placed dun sa bakante. Let's say, dito sa baba. Okay. So, kaya siya tinawag na non-contiguous memory allocation because if you're going to observe, page 1, page 2, and page 3, hindi yan magkakadikit dun sa physical memory. Pwede yung page 2 maiwan din dun sa logical memory. There are instances or cases na ganon. So, para malaman or ma-execute ni processor yung instruction, kagamit yan ng mapping. So, what is mapping? We have the memory management unit. The purpose of memory management unit or MMU is to convert the logical address into physical address. The logical address is the address generated by the CPU for every pages while the physical address is the actual address of the frame where each page will be stored. So, to better understand that, let's say, balikan natin yung image kanina. Then, si CPU, mag-generate yan ng logical address. Logical address is the address ng page dun sa virtual memory or dun sa logical memory. These logical address are sometimes called as the virtual address. The logical address, meron yung dalawang part. We have here the page number and the offset. Let's say we're talking about page ng isang libro. For a page, meron yung different lines. So, ganun din po yung offset. Kung pang anong linya yung babasahin ni processor dun sa page na yun. Dun sa physical memory naman, ang tawag dyan guys is the physical address for each frames. The physical address also have two parts. Meron siyang frame number and the offset. 
para po mabasa ni CPU, yung naka-store dito, magja-generate siya ng logical address and gagamit siya ng MMU or Memory Management Unit. This MMU is placed on what we called as page table. Suppose the CPU needs to execute process X with 10 KB memory. Consider that the process X is divided into 5 pages. Bakit siya na-divide into 5 pages? Kasi yung partition natin kanina, yung mga pages natin is 2 KB yung sizes niya. And if we're going to look at this, yung process X natin meron siyang 10 KB na memory. So, ibig sabihin, mag-occupy siya ng 5 pages. So, let's say we have this table. This table is the page table. If you're going to observe, meron siyang page number. Let's say P1 or page 1, P2 or page 2 hanggang page 5. This holds the process X. And dun sa tabi niya, itong bakante na yan is the frame number. So, for example, we have here the memory. And meron din siya nung mga addresses na yan. Then, we also have here the secondary memory. If you're going to observe, we have here P2 na or page 2. Yung puti na to is the virtual memory. It holds the pages. Suppose page 1 is stored on the physical address frame 11. Then, si P2 or page 2 na iwan siya sa logical memory. Si P3 may store siya sa physical memory na frame 14. Si P4 may store siya sa frame 12. P5 is may store siya sa frame 18. The page table also occupies space dito sa physical memory. So, pwede dito, pwede dito sa mga bakante na yan, or other part of the physical memory. Dito sa page table natin, it holds the page number and the frame number kung saan naka-store si isang page. So, si page 1, ang frame number niya is frame 11. So, itatapat lang na ganyan. Si page 2, naiwan siya sa virtual memory. So, wala siyang frame number. Page 3, ang frame number niya is 14. Page 4, frame number niya is 12. Then, page 5, ang frame number niya is 18. Suppose, si CPU, kailangan niya nang i-execute yung isang page. Okay? So, mag-generate yan ng logical address. P is the page, kung ano yung gusto niyang kunin na page. D is the offset. From the generated logical address, pupunta yan sa page table. And hahanapin niya kung ano yung frame equivalent ng page. So let's say, ang na-generate ni CPU na page number is page 1. Ang ipapasa niya ngayon is the frame number na kapareho niya. So, mapapasa dyan is the F11 or frame 11. Then, the offset will be directly transferred and hahanapin niya ngayon dun sa physical address.